day as a lot of getting changed in, in, in toilets and a lot of driving. <laughs> So I thought I'd take the opportunity tonight to record a video and really tell you about myself. Um, my name's Danny. I am a musician uh, living in Bristol. I work freelance. That means I take contracts and jobs in various places. I do different things. So part of my work as a freelance musician, I teach. So I work for a local music service that I go into schools and I deliver whole class ensemble tuition. Um, anything really that ranges from 30 kids in a classroom playing the ukulele to 30 kids in a classroom playing rock band instruments and even down to individual lessons uh, one to one. I teach uh, bass guitar, I teach guitar, electric guitar, acoustic guitar, they're kind of the same deal. I also teach brass instruments like cornet, trumpet, trombone, tuba, tuba is my main instrument. And I also run ensembles for the, the, the music service as well. Um, I, in my self-employed endeavours, I'm also the franchisee for The Rock Project in Bath, Wiltshire and Swindon. Originally, when I started working for The Rock Project, I was a bass tutor for a very good friend of mine who started the franchise up. I started teaching bass, had never ever taught before in my life. Um, it was really scary, actually, just jumping into teaching um having had no real previous experience like i knew how to play an instrument but you know sitting in a room for an hour with four children age seven <laughs> you can imagine uh, for the first time what kind of carnage that was there's a trick to it you've just got to find common ground and and i'm very fortunate that a lot of young people like children a lot of their popular culture is is actually my popular culture um you can speak to the children about pokemon video games uh music and there always seems to be this thing as well that with younger children especially well to be honest any child from from teenager to 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 primary school their favorite music is normally the favorite music of what their parents was growing up and now a lot of these students uh, are either the, their parents are either the same age as me or 10 years younger now which is kind of a hard pill for me to swallow i've gone from being uh the young person so so the, the parents will come along to the sessions and i'd be this young fresh faced 25 year old wanting to teach their child music and now i'm a less fresh faced 35 year old <laughs> um yeah teaching their child music and uh, teaching young people uh, makes you feel older I feel I feel much older than 35 um so I started doing that and worked as a bass teacher and then eventually um took over the franchise after the pandemic because obviously we all remember the COVID-19 pandemic I stayed at home and I did most of my teaching online so that's a section of work I do the teaching element and then the franchise element. So I run the business of that. And then the other thing I do is I'm a performing musician. You may have seen some of my bands online, various things. I work, um, I run the band Horning Glory, which is a Bristol based New Orleans brass outfit. I'll put our, I'll put our social medias down in the description below. Um, I go out as a musician. So I sometimes play musicals. Um, I play in bands. There's a Bristol band called Goldfish Don't Bounce that I play with sometimes. And I used to dep in for them, for their bass player. Dep, by the way, if you don't know the music lingo, it's deputy. So if a bass player can't get to the gig or is busy or is on holiday or has a better paid gig, which is normally the thing, then they will call me up and say, hey, Danny, can you can you come and cover this gig for me? I also play tuba in various outfits, so not only do I play the New Orleans brass stuff with bands like the Brass Junkies, but I also play classical tuba, so I can sit in orchestras and I get booked from time to time to do that. It's, it's an interesting life, um, full, of, uh, full of interesting people and situations that you wouldn't ever expect. I actually had a real desire to do YouTube, uh, to start doing YouTube videos about 10 years ago. And uh, somewhere, maybe I'll dig them out at some point. I've got some uh, some footage that I captured on a GoPro. Um, it would have been the perfect time to do it really, but it, putting yourself out there on camera is, it's not easy. And um, people, 
people don't like strange things. So I would find myself filming myself in public or filming myself when out on a gig in public with bandmates and they'd get a bit funny about it. Like it, it wasn't cool or it was cringy or I, you know, I'm loud. I'm, I'm, I'm an extrovert. So sometimes, you know, maybe I say or do embarrassing things. Um, but that can be quite hard for people to uh to to do and it kind of knocked my confidence a bit it's, it's not their fault that's just a me problem if i really wanted to do it i would have pushed ahead on doing the youtube videos um back then but it's something i'm, I'm keen on doing now it would have been nice to chronicle sort of the start of my career and and how i got into doing music and how i got into running a business and running a franchise but um at least now I've got the wealth of experience to draw on. And what I'm hoping with these videos is to give you my knowledge. I've, and hopefully, <laughs> learn a lot more than I can give. Uh, it feels a bit, I don't know the right word for it, but it feels a bit, is cocky the right word? Maybe. It feels a bit big-headed to come on here and be like, I can teach you loads of things, but, but I can. But also I can learn from you. So, for example, I've had a lot of people telling me in my last few videos the lighting wasn't quite right, so hopefully this is a lot better. Um, I'm not able to play. I mean, if I play an instrument now, I've got my bass guitar here, my five string. Um, if I play it here, you, you can't see it. So I'm going to have to figure out something. So if anyone wants to give me some advice, then yeah, by all means, I'd love to um, love to talk. I could hear about a recording space <laughs> or how to set up a recording space at home with lighting. But I want to hear from you guys and, and any questions that you might have on working as a freelance musician. Um, it's not all it's cracked up to be, I'll have to say. There's a lot of getting changed in, in, in toilets and a lot of driving and a lot of um, playing gigs where people don't really care. But there is real money to be made in, in being a freelance musician. It's out there. You, you've got to chase it. Um, so I'm going to wrap this video up. It was only a quick, hi, this is me. If you have any questions and you'd like to ask me, then by all means, um, put them in the, put them in the, what do we call it? The comments section. Oh, that sounds weird, man. <laughs> I watch, I consume a lot of YouTube and doing this on the other side is, is a real strange experience. So if you have any, um, ideas, please, or uh, questions, please drop them in the comments. If not, you can email me at wiltshire at the rock Um, and if you have a young person who's interested in learning bass guitar, learning electric guitar, learning the drums or learning vocals, and more importantly, learning how to play as a band together and doing gigs, then you can check us out at www.therockproject.com. I run the Bath, Trowbridge, Cainsham, Chippenham and Swindon sessions. We'd love to have you along for a free two hour taster session. Um, and hopefully there'll be more videos and I'll hear from you guys soon.